The following video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi everyone and welcome to my Creasum overview for The Sims 4 Get Famous. So in this video I'm going to be showing all the Creasum items that come with this pack and all the color swatches for them. And I've also made a build and buy review so the video for that will be going up at the same time as this one. So I'll have some kind of annotation linking to that in case you want to check it out. But moving on, there are seven new hairstyles for female sims. This first one I'm honestly not a huge fan of, not exactly sure what they're going for with that. This one is pretty nice and I'm glad to have another updo in the game. This one I'm not exactly sure about. Like I think I like it apart from the rings, like I, that's a thing I've seen before but there's something about how they look on this hair that I don't really like. And then we have a couple versions of this asymmetrical bob. This one I wasn't so sure about when I first saw it. But it's actually growing on me now and this hair is also really cute. Um, I think this one and that asymmetrical bob are my two favorites for the female hair. This one is also really cool and some of the swatches of it are in kind of this rainbow coloring or this rainbow pastel coloring. And then we have a non-colored version of that same ponytail. There's also two new molds that came with this pack. Um, I accidentally showed three but it's only the first one and the last one that come with this pack. Then we have a couple of new teeth. And next we have a bunch of new scars, so there's just a mix of, so basically you can pick scars for different parts of your face, like they're sorted by brow, cheek, eye, or lips. And they're a mix of more theatrical scars, like perhaps something you would use for an acting gig, and scars that are more so a part of your sim. So that's just a really nice feature and a nice way to make sims that are realistically imperfect. Next we have 10 hats, this is more of this over the top, just fancy hat. I think it's more so for acting gigs. Like I think it's maybe supposed to go with the more Western themed outfits. And then we've got this other hat here. This one, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Um, I guess it's maybe for like a villain acting role, but it looks kind of like a robot armadillo crossed with the Grim Reaper. There's also a bunch of hats that are just combinations of hats I believe we already had in the game, but with headphones on top of them. And then next we have this pirate hat. And I believe after that we have more of those different kinds of hats with headphones. Actually, no, first we have this one, which is just a very fancy hat. I think this is more so like a hat you would wear to the Starlight Accolades or some other formal event like that. And then here's where we have just a whole bunch of these hats with the headphones on them. So I believe these are meant to go with the music production skill that's been added with this pack. And as I said before, I think a lot of these hats are ones that we already had in the game. Some of them might be new, but I feel like I've seen a lot of these before. But moving on, we have a couple of earrings, although this isn't actually an earring, um, but then there are these more formal looking earrings that are in kind of a modern style. And next we have a we have a monocle. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use that. And then we have a necklace that goes with the last pair of earrings that we saw. So moving on from that, we have some face makeup. So this just comes in a bunch of different swatches that look very different from each other. So I think these are meant to go with the outfits for the acting career. And next we have a whole bunch of tops. So we have 11 tops for the female Sims and the clothing with this pack is a mix of outfits that are supposed to go with the acting career and then just everyday outfits. So this is one of the everyday outfits. I was a little bit disappointed by how many, how much of the clothes aren't actually usable for everyday wear, but I can understand it because this pack did add the whole acting career and there's a whole bunch of act or outfits that come with that. So it is nice to have them and create some rather than them being outfits that are locked and that are only able to be worn when you're doing the gigs. And I think you probably could use some of those outfits for more storytelling, like some of the more formal dresses that are, I believe from the Victorian era, they could be used to supplement what we got with the vampires pack. You could also maybe use it for the upgrowth challenge, which is it, which if you haven't heard about it is a challenge where basically you start from, I think the 1890s and you kind of move like up from that, like into the future even like, which is a really cool challenge. So I think some of the outfits that come with this pack could work for different eras of that. This top I really like, it's a very simple top, but I, I like kind of the, the texture of it, how you, you can see some of the folds in the fabric of it. I said this before, but I think they've definitely stepped it up in terms of the textures of the items. Like the fur texture on this jacket looks really good. Like it actually looks kind of real, like it's not flat. This shirt, it to me, it looked kind of stretched out in a way. Like you can see it in the bottom left. It just looks like that, those canisters are stretched out. So that one I'm not really a huge fan of. Um, then we've got this skirt with this, just this longer skirt. And then we got these pants, which 
are meant to go with the acting gig outfits. I really like the jeans though, so I wish we had it without the belts on it. Same with these, because they just come with this. I think that's supposed to be for like a set designer kind of a look, but I just wish both of those jeans came without those accessories because they're nice otherwise, but they're not useful for everyday wear at all because of that. And then this skirt goes with the top that The Sims currently wearing. Next, there are a whole bunch of full outfits. There are 21 of them, so just a ton. Um, that first one was just kind of this silly superhero outfit for one of the acting gigs. This one is neat as well. It's kind of got like maybe an 80s aesthetic to it. Definitely feels like, definitely feels like it has a bit of a retro look. This is more of a, another one of the acting gig outfits. I think it's supposed to be for an apocalyptic acting gig. Um, I wasn't sure at first. At first I thought maybe it was like a caveman kind of a thing, but when I looked through all the sets, I noticed that there's a lot of ones that look like they're supposed to be set in some apoc apocalyptic future. So I think that's more so what that's for. Um, there's this dress, which is nice. Um, looks like a little bit of a like 50s or 60s throwback to me. Um, this dress is also really nice and I could see it being used for a nice formal wear dress. This dress is a little bit more over the top, but I actually like it. I'm not usually a huge fan of the super over the top fashion forward outfits, but this one actually looks really nice. And I like that you have a different mixture of where the colors are placed on it. There's this full bodysuit, which I also really, really like. It just looks like something that would be nice to have on your Sims in the summer, or maybe not, because it might get a little hot because of the, the long pant legs. This is another more over the top dress. That'd be good to wear to the Starlight Accolades. I could also see this one being used as a wedding dress in the white swatch. So that's an option if you're looking for another alternative for that, if your Sims is a little bit more daring. And this is another more everyday wear type dress. So I'm glad to see some more casual dresses with this pack because there isn't really a ton of them. And this one to me looks like maybe something inspired by the 50s or like kind of a waitress type outfit. I'm not sure if that's actually what it's supposed to be for, but that's what it looks like to me. And this I believe is supposed to be more of a Western type dress. And this is, this is another formal dress that would work well for the awards show. So this is a bit more toned down than the last uh, more formal long dress that we saw. This dress is very interesting. Um, I, I don't think I'm gonna use that one very often. I think it's got a little bit of an Asian influence to it. And here is another Western type outfit for acting gigs. And uh, here's another more everyday wear type dress. This one I like, although it looks kind of like other dresses we've gotten. Like it reminds me, I mean, it's different than the one we got from City Living, like that sweater dress we got from City Living, but it kind of makes me think of that. And then here is another longer award show, tri awards show type dress. And then this last dress here is another one of those dresses that could be used for the award shows. Next we have this watch, which looks very fancy. I think it's supposed to be kind of like a, a Rolodex type watch. And then we have these socks, which come in some funky swatches that are kind of, they feel kind of mid-century modern inspired or 60s inspired. And they also come in some plain swatches as well so they can go with more kinds of outfits. Next, we have a few different shoes. So there are, I believe, five shoes. These are more saddle shoes with a slight heel to them. Although I think they're supposed to go with the Western outfits. And then we have these blinged out heels, which are really cool. I'm glad we're getting more heel options because a lot of the heels that we got with the base game, I'm not really a fan of, so I'm glad they're adding more. And these are interesting. Um, these I don't like as much as the other ones. And then we've got these slides, which come in a whole bunch of different swatches. I was actually surprised by the number of swatches these, shoe came, these shoes came in. And then lastly, we have these Uggs, I guess. They look kind of like Frankenstein Uggs. Not really a huge fan of those, probably not gonna use them much, but I think they're supposed to go with the acting outfits. I'm pretty sure. I think it came with the apocalyptic outfit. Lastly, we have five style looks. So I'm just going through those here. This is more of an award show type of an outfit. And then the last one, is a little bit more of a trendy everyday wear outfit. I actually like the skirt and top combo there. So for the male Sims, there are three other hairstyles. I really like this first one here. This one is also really cool. Uh, the last one is nice as well, but I don't like it quite as much as I do the other two. So moving on from that, there are 13 more tops. This one goes with more of that. I guess it's like kind of a, like a, someone who works at the movie studio kind of outfit. This is another acting gig type shirt. I guess that's supposed to be like a paratrooper vest or something like that. Like something you would wear if you're jumping out of a plane. I don't think it's supposed to be a life vest. And this uh, t-shirt blazer combo is really cool. Then we've got this jacket here, which 
Reminds me of jackets we've gone with other packs. Like I feel like we've gotten a few similar jackets to this one before. This shirt is interesting. I wasn't sure what it was at first, but I believe it is supposed to go with the Western outfits. And then we've got this puffy jacket, which is another thing that reminds me a little bit of other outfits that we've gotten. But I think we've, got, I know we've gotten vests with that kind of material before. Um, and this is more, I think it's supposed to go with the apocalyptic outfits. And then this is a jacket, button-up shirt combo, or I think it's like a jean vest and button-up shirt combo. Um, this is another thing that reminds me of some other outfits I've gotten, but it does look nice. And then we've got this baseball jersey. It does come with a nice variety of different kinds of logos. Here we have a zip-up jacket. Nothing too crazy about this one. The Mail Sims actually got a good amount of clothes with this pack. It was still a bit less than the Fail Sims, Female Sims, I believe, but the gap was closed a bit more with this one because in the past, the Male Sims tend to get a lot less than the Female Sims do. Uh, here we just have this vest that is like the one we saw before that I wasn't really super fond of. And then we have this fur jacket, which is another over the top thing. Once again, I like the texture on it. I like the swatches that this comes with. Uh, moving on, we have seven bottoms. So I believe these go with that apocalyptic outfit. These, these are Western pants. Um, so definitely some more interesting outfits that aren't really useful for everyday wear. These pants are really cool. I like the kind of shiny leathery material that they have. And then we have these sweatpants with larger pockets on the side of them. And I noticed that on the inside towards the bottom of the pants, they're zippers. So it's just kind of nice to see those sorts of details. Although I wasn't exactly sure why we would want to have that in real life at first. Cause I imagine they kind of modeled that after something they saw, but I guess that's something we want to have to maybe make the pants easier to roll up. Not that that really matters in the Sims, but like I said, it's just kind of neat to see those little details that you really only notice upon looking at the items more closely. But now we're onto the full outfit. So there are 14 of those. The first one was that crazy chicken man outfit. So I think that in that unicorn type outfit that we saw for the female Sims are supposed to be for maybe like more of the, the kids TV acting gig. I haven't really gone into the TV gigs so much, but, or the, the acting gigs a lot. But when I was looking through the items, I noticed that there's a whole bunch of child you know, like um, set, set pieces that look like they're for a children's show. So I think that's supposed to be what that's for. Um, but here we have this more casual everyday wear outfit and the jacket on that looks like it had similar markings to that one zip up jacket that we had before. I could be wrong on it, but it just kind of remind me of that a bit. Uh, here we have this very nice suit, which I think is something that you would want to wear to the award show. Uh, next we have this more, I believe, Victorian era kind of an outfit. Um, This is another more casual everywhere everyday wear type outfit that just your regular old sim could wear around the town here we have a really cool pirate outfit and i think some of these outfits could also work really well for halloween costumes like you could definitely just dress your sims up in some of the gig outfits and just use as a halloween costume so that's a really that's another neat thing about them like that's another way in which you could actually put them to use next we have this goofy tourist outfit so it's kind of cool to get another one of those and i like how one of the coloring one of the swatches of it look kind of like a take on the I love New York thing. And this last everyday wear, everyday wear outfit or last full outfit is an interesting one. I'm not sure what they're going for. It kind of looks like grandpa chic. I don't know if that's what you would call it. I think they're definitely going for a trendier look with that because that is a uh, kind of a style that I've seen coming back lately. And then lastly, we have a couple more shoes. So we had those those lovers at first, and then now we have these tennis shoes. And moving on from that, we have five more styled looks. So that is about it for the adult sims. There are some things for children and toddlers, but there's really not a whole lot. There's really just a few items for each. So moving on to that for child sims, we have four new tops. So we have this fancier looking jacket. This kind of reminds me of a marching band jacket, but I think it could work for formal wear or everyday wear. And then we have this suit jacket. It looks kind of like a take on a suit jacket. So I think that could work for formal wear. And then here we have another jacket, which to me has some kind of similar markings as that first jacket that we saw. And then lastly, we have this kind of crop jacket over a t-shirt, which is really cute. I think this is probably the most casual of the shirts that we got for children with this pack. And next we have a couple of full outfits. So they're both just dresses and they are really nice formal dresses. So it is good to have more formal wear for child sims. Although I do wish we had some suits to go with it just so there's 
a little bit more options. Up next, we have two shoes. They're basically the same kind of shoe, except that one of them, so this is the other one, Basically, one of them just has zippers that are the same color as the rest of the shoe. I don't know why they put that into two separate shoes rather than just having it be the same one. But lastly, we have five style looks. Or actually four style looks. I read my notes wrong there. So moving on to the toddlers, they have a couple of new shirts. Really not much for them, just three items. That is it. Uh, the second shirt is really cute. It's like a, a blazer over a hoodie. And some of the swatches of it are really playful looking. And here are the pants that we have. So they're they're kind of a baggier pants. I think culottes are what you would call those. But I do really like them. They're a bit different than the other clothes that we have for toddlers. And then we have one styled look. And that is it for the clothing. There are a couple of aspirations. So we have the world famous celebrity aspiration in the popularity category. And then the creativity category, we have the master actor aspiration. There is also a new trait. So that new trait is self-absorbed. So basically the Sims are just obsessed with themselves. They love being complimented, they like getting attention, they like having the spotlight on them, so that definitely goes really well with this pack. And that is it that I wanted to show for Create a Sim. So as I said, I did make a build and buy mode overview, so I have some kind of annotation link into that in case you want to go over and look at that. And yeah, that is all I have to say, so I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching and bye!